Shalab Asana. Shalab is a Sanskrit word, which in English means a locust or a grasshopper. To do this asana, you have to first come in the pose of Makar Asana. And to do this, you have to lie down on the floor on your stomach and keep your legs at a distance from each other. Keep your head on your palms and relax your body. Now, moving on from the Makar Asana pose, bring both your legs together. Now, position both your hands close to your body in such a position that your palms point towards the sky and your chin rests on the floor. Taking a deep breath, lift your legs up from the ground with the help of only your pelvic muscles. Lift your legs up only to the point till you can without bending your knees. You can take the support of your arms to keep your legs in the air. This will help you keep your body steady. Now stay relaxed in this pose for about 10 to 20 seconds, breathing in and breathing out normally. This asana helps in getting relief from sciatica and pain in the lower back. It also develops the muscles around the pelvis and kidneys. Doing this asana regularly helps reduce the fat on the thighs and also helps in reducing one's weight. This asana is beneficial for our stomach and is also known to help in the digestive process. Pregnant women and people suffering from peptic ulcer, hernia, high BP, and heart disease should avoid doing this asana. If you are suffering from incessant pain in your lower back, then you should take precautions while doing this asana. After remaining in this pose for about 10 to 20 seconds, Bring your feet down to the ground while breathing out slowly. After returning to the Makar Asana pose, relax your body. This asana helps you to relax both your mind and body.